So let's say you've got your export from Bilby's for your 1099 filings prepared, and now you're ready to get the tax ID in. And let's say you're really organized like I am, and you have this file here that has the Social Security numbers in it. So we just need to bring this over. And I'd mentioned in the video that went over the export process that I would do a video showing you how to use a VLOOKUP to get that data in there. First of all, it'll probably help save some time if you copy the tab that has the actual data into the same Excel file. Really, really easy to do, especially while you have both Excel files open. Just right click the tab down here. We're gonna choose move or copy. Click create a copy. Then over to that book and you can move it right to the end and click OK. I'll do that one more time for those who uh, got distracted. We're gonna right click the tab. We're gonna choose move or copy. We're gonna check, click this checkbox here that says create a copy and then we're going to select our Bilby's export file and move it to the end and click OK. That puts it into the same workbook. So it makes it just a lot easier to sort of work with the data and write the formula. The next thing I want to do, and you're going to see why this makes life really easy in a minute, is I'm going to insert a row and I just want to number these starting with my sort of lookup point which is going to be here where the company name is so we're going to say one and in case you're wondering this is dummy data that I pulled off of a website that has sample data files that you can use to play with for exactly purposes like this so it may look like it's legit data but it's not so I want to get a column number in here right and what happened I added two instead of one so take that plus one so what I did was and let me sort of back up here for a second and show you exactly what I did too um, so we've got the row inserted I'm just going to number the first column that the range where I'm going to be looking data up right because I want to come in here I want to look up this recipient name which is the company name in this case so that's column one then move over one column equals <clears throat> use my left arrow to point to that column and just say plus one okay and then I'm gonna copy that over to where as far as I need to go until I get to my social security number and you're gonna see because this is gonna make the formula so much easier to write I already know I'm looking for what's in the sixth column in my lookup table so let's go write a view lookup formula really really easy to write equals V is in vertical right it's a vertical lookup as soon as I type LOO after the V you can see it already comes up with it and now simple syntax what am I looking for where am I looking for it if I find a result which column is that result in that's where that column six comes in so I want to look up that comma that's what I'm looking for here's where I'm looking for it right we're going from company name out to my social okay and might as well just copy that all the way down to get the whole range in there then comma and my result is in column six we already confirmed that one more thing comma false putting the word false and it's spelled properly it's false and not flays tells Excel that I only want an exact match I do not want a result to come in if it's not a perfect match to what I'm looking for and the only other thing I want to do so I can copy it down without any difficulty is we're gonna put dollar signs into the range here so right in front of the C and C2 right in front of the 2 right in front of the H right in front of the 502 that kinda of holds that range constant so that when I copy it down it's looking in the same place I can copy and paste this in and the only last thing we can do if we need to and we really don't need to because remember this is just being prepared so we can import it into track 10 and 9 but in case you're a stickler for formatting control on the number one go to special format and choose social security number and click OK. It, the other reason for doing this besides aesthetics is it does actually help you look it over and make sure that the data makes sense that it really does look like a social security number that nobody's missing a digit or anything like that anywhere. That my friends is how you can use a VLOOKUP and in literally less than five minutes even faster if I wasn't slowing down to explain we can get the lookup done and get our tax IDs in here assuming of course that we've got a file somewhere that's got the right information that we can use to look the information up. That, my friends, is how we write a VLOOKUP to get our data complete so that it's truly ready for import into track1099.com or whichever 1099 e-filing service you prefer to use.